family couple. Again, if you're outside, it's gonna be a little bit different situation. Cause you're gonna get mosquitoes, you're gonna get sun, you're gonna get wind, you're gonna get people bugging you, that kind of stuff. So be prepared for that. Right now we're gonna do it in the comfort of our studio, hopefully. It's not real comfortable, it's like 100 degrees in here, but let's get going on this. So what I'm gonna to try to do here is establish certain things first, like the lilies in the water and all that first. So let's go ahead and start out with the dark mix again. Get a little green in there, a little bit of red, green up a little bit. I like kind of a purple blue. And I'll add a little white so I can kind of swim out with it. And we'll just kind of go around those edges. Kind of sketching it all out. Let those little V crusts go into the leaves. Remember, this is impressionistic, so we gotta keep this thing loose. Okay, so here's one twin here. And we'll do another twin over here. Okay, and we'll do some more little leaves up in here. And we'll do in there. Kind of the composition of a round, kind of a round composition. There we go. So we got the structure of kind of what we're after. Now we're just going to kind of throw in the edges. We kind of know where the edges end. Right now you just got a loose impressionistic starting point of what you're after. Now we're after the blocking period. So now we're just going to get our yellow green. I like to throw all kinds of greens and make it a menager of tons. So I don't know, you know, fill in your negative spaces. It's fine, it's your color, but it's not your intensity, it's just your color base. You know, just kind of looking for different things here. And you're looking for different things here. And you want variety. Some lighter than others, especially around these edges and the bottom, a little warmer, add a little more orange to it. Just get that variety going in there. Some more leaf in here. Kind of just blocking in your subject. It's kind of what you're after, just blocking in your subject. Still blocking in subject, kind of blocking your subject. Now we're getting there, see? Starting to see some changes. Start putting in some kind of a grayish tones. Blocking in your subject. Keep everything loose and impressionistic. That's what this is all about. Not about trying to get perfect details, about letting yourself free and let yourself paint the shape naturally without getting bogged up on detail. Okay, so now we got that in. We're going to get some water going in the spots here because there's water in this stuff here. Just paint some sky tones in there. Let's kind of get some pockets of sky. All well, that's going to get reflected back in there and the darks and everything, so don't worry about that. Yeah, again, just keep everything impressionistic. This is a little bit tougher painting, as you noticed. We're going to make it happen. colors get mixed together.
You start to see it happening there. Okay, now we're gonna get the main colors and stuff. Get some darker red colors, pinks. Start shoving those shadows in there. And extend your lilies, it doesn't matter. Just kind of just force those shadows to go in there. Sometimes they're a little warmer. Just kind of put them in there warmer. Force those shapes in there. A little brighter at the tips. Okay, and here's where I like to get a little bit more refined. I try to stay away from it for refinement, just but, but just you need a little to keep it to where it looks like a flower instead of a blob. follow the light source as well. Your light's coming in from this side, so make sure your light is getting hit on this side only. Let's start to see it happening. Let's get some darker greens on the bottom of those bases. in the water. I put a little sky, you can put a little sky tone in there, kind of reflect it. Where you kind of want to move shit around, move stuff around. <laughs> and put a little bit cooler ones back in here. A little white out, a little cool of the water, and the sky's kind of reflecting into those. So, I like to have a little pink and a purple, especially the back ones. You know, keep this impressionistic, don't get crazy. See, it's all starting to come around. Just tighten up your little areas here. Got the, Get a little brighter certain areas like right around that edge. You want little accents to show up and pop that makes the painting pop. You know, you know, add some little green red reflections coming down here. That's where you're gonna kind of mess with the reflections a little bit. Kind of bring them down in the water a little bit. And we'll give it a little, some little seeds right in here. It has like a little opening here. Just kind of show that little opening. And put a little darker butt behind it. So it looks, you know, I can see the crescent of the opening. Those flowers kind of poke out a little bit at you. Very impressionistic though. Don't get crazy. Just kind of. Look at that, see it's popping off the canvas now. We get some more greens in there. More whites, let's lighten those, let's lighten these greens up so we can get those edges sticking out a little bit. I just put little nuisances of tone and colors. We're gonna play with those edges. And then pretty soon you're gonna start blending stuff. popping in little lights and reflections, little darks to keep it to to do what it needs to do. See that? It's just impressionistic and then you just want to pop these little lights. To give it its little edges.
like that, it's coming around. Let's put those stems in there. Let's darken that edge a little. Let that thing pop, look at that. See how it's coming around? Now we're just gonna soften it with a big brush. We're gonna get a big brush. So we gotta be careful. Just kind of just smooth some of these out right here. Where the that is, just kind of slightly, just lightly. Soften it. You don't want to kill your flowers, they're, they're part of the whole thing. Just kind of blur up the water parts. Pull down a little bit, then blend it out. These are important back in here. It's not so important back here. You want your lilies to be the main target here. Okay, now we're just going to get a little bit of your white paint. Just kind of just make some little water ripples. Want a little strong little water ripples going across your stuff, a little bit of yellow on it to make it deflect. Make it sharp though. You want these little things to catch light. Okay, and we'll soften out that bottom again. There we have it.